Self-care isn't just about me. It's actually about we. You can't truly serve or care for others without first caring for your own health and well-being. As they say each time you board a flight, put your own mask on first before helping others. So I think the most important thing is to not lose yourself or forget yourself and be kind and accepting of who you are. This is big work. And I think that's acknowledging that is really, really important. So my biggest message for self-care is not to neglect your health at the altar of work, to intentionally rest and intentionally replenish your energy. So my message around self-care would be that practice it before it's too late. Unfortunately, nobody is immune to burnout. I thought I was until it happened to me. So if we don't take care of ourselves, we won't have longevity in palliative care and we won't be of benefit to our clients and our colleagues and our own loved ones for the long haul. I guess within ourselves, there are parts of us that are dying to live and parts of us that are living to die. So that in this last dance with a dying person, if we can pay mindful attention to that, uh, that we find a new aliveness that enriches us in our living, that sustains us in our separateness until we find uh, that moment when we dance together again. Mm.